everyone, Amy from the Vault here. Welcome back to more Mutropolis. We're going to go ahead and just jump right back in. But before we do, just wanted to say thank you so much to the publisher for giving me a copy of this so I could go ahead and play it for you all here. Let's go ahead and get back into it, and I'll see you back in just a sec. All right, ladies and gents, so here we are back outside, and I wonder if we can actually leave here. Is this like a window or... Oh, no, we can actually go out here. <gasps> puppy! Puppy! Okay, sorry. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to go see the puppy. Oh. I scared away a bunch of birds. Sorry. I... Nothing. I don't know them. So many students come through the university. Okay, but I don't care. Even my dog wants to know about the puppy. Why can't we pet the puppy? I, I, okay, let me fix my screen. My screen was down really low. Maybe I just didn't see. Is there not an option to pet the puppy? I don't know them. Are you serious? Somebody get, can you pet the dog this on the line? has a fingerprint reader. You cannot pet the puppy. Identification in process. Fingerprint recognized. Dr. Henry Dijon. Access level two. Access denied. This terminal what? requires access level three. Section managers and technical operators only. Have a nice day. Dr. Dijon. Damn, I could be a level three. I know Total was about to promote me. Oh, I wonder if we can become a level three if we I ask. I want to trample over the harmonious energies. If we ask the twins. I don't want to. To help us. The blossom is looking perfect. Yeah, it actually does look very nice. Is there nothing else to like do out here? Okay. So this is definitely one of those games where you have a lot of things you have to do, but it doesn't hold your hand and tell you how to do them. And I am definitely a person who is... He's reading his own user manual. In public. I'm not always that smart. <laughs> Good morning, Doctor. The bird woman you were talking to, what did she want? Nothing important. Just asking about Total's disappearance. She was worried, I guess. Well... Good morning, Doctor. Hey there, kid. No, 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 we want to go talk to the bird woman then. Whenever I try to pet it, I nearly lose an eye. We want to go talk to the bird woman then. I tried to chase the bird woman. Y'all saw me do it. It didn't work though. Okay. Um. So. I wonder if we could ask Petra. Petra, you're a head of department. What's your access level? I shouldn't really say, but I'm a level 10 engineer. 10? Whoa! I thought 5 was the highest level for engineers. I bet you did. Why do you ask? There's a device near the entrance I want to use, but it's level 3 access only. You mean the black monolith? That's a biothermal console, but I can't help you. Wrong department. Engineers can't access biotech devices. Figures. Did you see a bird woman pass through here? What? No. No one's coming here apart from you. <gasps> okay. I've got to go. Henry. Yes? Good luck. Uh. Okay. Sorry, that was, something weird just happened. All of a sudden the game disappeared from my screen. <laughs> I'm fine now. So... The bird woman out here? Can we ask them about the bird woman? I don't woman? know them. No, we don't know them, but can we ask them about the bird woman? Oh, we can come around Perfect. here. They suspect nothing. <gasps> That's Cobra's voice. Got it. The sound must be coming from the upper floor, but our lab isn't even on this side of the building. They're gonna search for Total on their own. No, I got it. I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, I'll be nice to the four-eyed redhead. <laughs> it's easy to earn his trust. He's never been very smart. Just who is she talking about? I have the coordinates. They are safely stowed in my secret lab. No, in the elevator. Yeah, I got it. And I love it. I miss you too. See you in a few days. Whoa, this place has incredible acoustics. I don't like this at all. Is Cobra spying on us? And what has she got hidden in the elevator? 
I don't know, but can we pet the cats? I should let sleeping cats lie. Oh, jeez. Doesn't that figure? Let's go say hi to the totem. The totem! Touching this ancient wood makes me feel peaceful. Okay. <laughs> I like the birdie. What is this warning? Warning. Don't use the goods hoist as a ladder. It's dangerous and leads nowhere. Thank you. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> I don't believe that. I believe this is a ladder. Climbing up would be risky. Do it. I don't even know what level Cobra was on. There are over 20 floors I don't have access to. Do it. But she said she had something hidden in the elevator. I should start there. No, I want to climb the steps. Climbing up. I don't oh, even know there fine. Are what if she said I What if it's not actually Cobra? Does Cobra have a twin sister? Oh no. Uh-oh. I did it again. Okay. Sorry. So my my screen is angry at me right now because I keep accidentally clicking off of it. <laughs> I keep exiting the game. Luckily the video continues so you guys don't see anything weird, but I do. Okay. So, let's go into the elevator. Um Let's go to the basement. It's a while since I've been to the basement. It always smells like embalming fluid, but you never know. That makes me feel comfortable. Hi, Henry. Hi, Frida. That's a gun. Hi, Frida. Carlotta told me about Toto. How could this happen? I don't know, but we're going to figure it out. I've narrowed it down to the Cabal or the Shadow Government. Legit. Of course, they both operate from the hollow core of Mars, so... It could be the regular government in cahoots with the shadow government. Have you considered they might be in cahoots? My guess is treasure hunters. In cahoots with... The Cabal. Not in cahoots. No cahoots. You're so naive, sweet child. I just hope you find him before the aliens do. You're the ones in space! Where's the rest of your team? They just left for an expedition, as if we didn't have enough finds from the last one. What did you discover? The remains of a 19th century police station. Lots of firearms, projectiles, the usual. But we also found a few very rare items. It's taken me a week, but I've restored everything. Frida, you're a head of department. What's your access level? I'm level three. Why do you ask? Level three? Wow. Henry, there are a hundred levels. Well, three is good enough for me. There's a monolith near the entrance I need to use. Can you give me access? Absolutely not. I could get fired if anyone found out. But no one will find out. Discretion is my middle name. I didn't know that. That's how discreet <laughs> I am. I'm sorry, Henry. I just need your fingerprint. I said no. It won't take long. You're not going to convince me. There's got to be a way to get Frida's fingerprint. Uh. Nice flask. I expect you touch it with your fingers all the time. So, can I borrow it? <laughs> I need it. I'm trying to pour the ionic preservative into the mummy's mouth, but I can't get it open. If I give you a hand with that, how about you give me the flask? Sure, whatever. I got a bunch of flasks. But we have to open the mummy's mouth without damaging the specimen. Okay. How am I supposed to do that? <gasps> Why did it move? Oh my god, is it like a code? <gasps> ah! Why does it keep moving? Okay, so we read a book about mummies. But I don't remember there being anything about getting a mummy's 
mouth open. How do we open its mouth? Oh my gosh. There's like clearly some pattern to this, but what on earth would the pattern be? Like this doesn't even make sense. Does it appear to move at all? Like, I don't see it moving at all. Okay, maybe we can find something in here that helps us? Hey, hey, hey! Henry! Quit poking around. You know how fragile relics can be. Sorry, Frida. Remy, I'm not. Interesting. It looks very old. I should examine it carefully. What's okay. this? This looks like a monograph on the art of theft. Shame I can't turn the pages. Apparently, these two picks open practically any modern lock. I guess that would be any 3,000-year-old lock now. This could be useful. I just need to fashion these lock picks. Okay. Um... This looks like I'm apparently oh, this could be thing. useful. I just need a lockpick doesn't help us though. <sighs> Donuts. Henry! I wasn't going to touch it. No, thank you. I did a whole semester on ancient handguns. They've never been my favorite kind of relic. Someone else was obsessed with them though. Who was that? Oh, yeah. Micro. Okay. Where bone calcium concentration exceeds 400 parts per thousand, let delta equal mu squared multiplied by the DNA reintegration factor. Interesting approach. Sure. I hope it's not too decayed. Let's see. Hey, hey, hey! Henry! Quit poking around. You know how fragile relics can be. Leave that sheet alone. Sorry, Frida. Okay. <sighs> um. I guess we can come back here. Clean robot. Clean like the wind. <laughs> Error zero zero six. Nothing ever just works. Huh. I love this one's haircut. I've got to remember it the next time I get a trim. He looks pretty intense. By the supreme squid! What perversion of nature do I see before... Wait. I was looking at it upside down. <laughs> okay. I guess we'll leave. And maybe we need to go back upstairs? And if we go upstairs, then maybe we can go in here and read the mummy book again. Because I'll be honest, I looked at the mummy book, but I didn't actually read the mummy book. Ugh, if I have to, I'm going to the morphology of the mummy chapter. It's the only one I can read. Okay, I'm going to grab something right now. The mountain mummy was an exceptionally well- The body has been rich with- okay. There's more info. Does it say anything? I know it said some stuff. This section is about alleviating stiffness in- Okay. This section- Hmm. A sequence of important looking scientific symbols. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, so it's a stupid sequence. You gotta be kidding me. Ah. Okay. So what do these mean? It's a triangle, watermelon, booby, um, primary colors, booby, triangle. Okay, so now each of these 
corresponds to something here. So the watermelon is... Which one of these is the watermelon? Which one of these is the watermelon? Uh, I guess the nose. So it's like nose, thumb. Okay, nose, thumb, pinky. Nose, thumb, pinky. Then triangle is tongue. And then circle is uh, where's circle? It said circle, right? Let me go back. No, it didn't say circle. So why did I put a circle? <laughs> no, it put, okay, watermelon. It was a watermelon. I'm an idiot. Okay. And then we have another watermelon. So after tongue, I feel so stupid right now. Okay, that was the nose. Nose. This is so stupid for me. I'm so dumb. I, not like this is stupid, but I'm stupid. I don't understand. Um, and then we have to touch that nerve. This is. It's labeled as an opt. Okay, so this is probably the other eye. Because we're touching the nerve. I got it. I feel so stupid. Okay, and then the other eye. And then the triangle again, which is the tongue. Okay, so that should be what we need to do. Oh my gosh, I feel like... I should have written that down, because before I was like, there's a code here. Oh, I'm going to be doing so much going back and forth, aren't I? Because I'm just not that bright. <laughs> okay. I still want to know if Cobra has a twin sister. Let's take a look at this cutie. Remember to open his mouth gently. Don't rip it off. Frida, please. I'm a pro. Okay. Nose. Thumb. Uh, pinky. Tongue. Nose. Eye. 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 Tongue. Done it. Excellent work. Oh, thank God. It's as if you have an innate connection with ancient things. Are you sure you don't belong to any lodge or secret society? Not to my knowledge. Well, a deal is a deal. Take the flask. I'm finally going to take my break. Oh. <sighs> yes, I actually wrote that down on legitimate paper. <laughs> Okay. Also, we can touch things now. I don't want now. to interfere with Frida's investig- Okay. We can touch things now, though. She's not paying attention. I say we go touch things. Okay. Um, so number one. <sighs> Wait. Wait a minute. I have the flask, but I don't actually have her fingerprint. I just have the flask. Do you have like a molding machine? Hold on. Frida, Frida, can I uncover this mummy? If the answer is yes, say absolutely nothing. Great, I knew I could count on you. <gasps> Ew. If I wiggle it out a little, maybe I can read the label. Ooh. Supreme squid! I <gasps> broke it! Most of the casing is still stuck inside the holster. Still, let's see what we've got here. I estimate that the cylinder was about 15 centimeters long before it broke. <laughs> the contents have long since decayed, but I'd say it used to contain a potent chemical. The label is still intact though. Old smoky smoke bomb. Range of action 3 meters. Non-toxic and hypoallergenic. <laughs> then comes a list of its chemical ingredients. They don't look so dangerous. 
I could build a new smoke bomb with this recipe if I could oh. find the ingredients. And I'd need a new cylindrical casing and fuse, of course. I'll take this fragment. Okay. Hmm. This cylinder has fused with the holster. It's not coming out. Maybe we should recover up the mummy? Um... I think if we recovered up the mummy, that would be smart, but apparently you don't want to recover up the mummy. Um, it's empty. These cases keep our most fragile. Frida, Frida, can I open this box? Oh, okay. Maybe there's like a molding kit in the here. Is yes. Say absolutely nothing. Because we need to like make a mold of the fingerprint Terrific. that's on the flask. The initials GK are on the lid. Probably the owner. Let's see what's inside. Very elegant. From the look of it, I'd say it's 20th century. The powder looks like talc. And there's some kind of adhesive tape. I wonder what all this is for. Oh, this is... It's a fingerprinting. There's an old note attached to the lid. <laughs> this is a it fingerprinting. Says, Don't forget to take the fingerprint kit. Grace N. Yeah. So, this box is for fingerprinting. Cool. How appropriate. Okay, but this still doesn't solve the problem of us needing. I don't want to make a mess of my fingers. This still doesn't solve the issue. Looks like the stand belongs to the box. This still doesn't solve the issue of us not of us having a There's got to be a fingerprint somewhere. I need to brush it. I've got it. But that doesn't solve the problem of us needing a Perfect. This is what I need. That doesn't solve our problem. Is that all we're gonna use? That doesn't work though. You still would need the actual... Wouldn't you still need a model? The tape wouldn't work, would it? I hope not. I hope the tape wouldn't work. I'm gonna try it on my phone. I don't think it would work. Identification in private well, fingerprint what I meant to recognized. Do. Access to this term. Have a nice. I just don't think that's how this works. Identification in process. Fingerprint recognized. Doctor Frida Bubblegum. Access level three. Access granted. Have a nice day, Doctor Bubblegum. Doctor Bubblegum. What does any of this mean? It's a picture of Frida. It must have been taken in the winter. Her hair always becomes darker in the cold. It does. Oh, I can change the tree. Splendid. I can't even see the branches. Nano-engineered Martian apples taste a little woody, but hey, free apple. Okay, so I guess I was supposed to get apples. Is that why I did this? Maybe I can pick up some snow? It makes me want to make a snowman. Okay. Um... Hmm. Is there anything else? I think that's... Because this is the one we came in on, right? Yeah. That's weird, though. Does that mean that the tree isn't real? There are no leaves left on the tree. Okay. Wait a minute, we can't... Can we pick up, maybe, the leaves? No? 
Okay, I didn't try to pick up the snow or anything either. Let's try one more. Okay. I just don't, I don't, yeah, we can't pick up snow. Okay. I'm going to take some snow. Is it even real snow? I don't think it's going to last long. Outside the tree area, it's quite hot. Oh, okay. Okay. Um. Well, hold on. Maybe I can make a snowman then. Can I, I actually... Have can I actually make one? I've always wanted to make a snowman. <gasps> I shouldn't. We have to save Total. But... Oh my god, I can make a snowman! No snow for the head. I can make a snowman! I'm going to take some snow. Oh my god, it's letting me make for a snowman! I don't think it's going to last long outside the tree area. It's letting me make a snowman! Almost done. Just a few more minutes. Now, some sticks to finish it up. Perfect. <laughs> Can I'm I do anything else? No. I don't think it's going outside the. Can I do anything else to my snowman? I will name it. Snowy. Snowy. This is my friend Snowy. Hey, little one. Oh. He looks happy. Hey, little one. It looks happy. Okay, I'm sorry. That made me very excited. Okay, was I actually supposed to get something though out of this? <laughs> okay. Um. Anything else? Oh, there's an icicle. This icicle is lower than the rest, but I still can't reach it. I don't think I can lower the branch, but maybe I can lower the icicle. What? Do we throw a snowball at it? Throw it won't make the icicle form any lower down. Okay. How would we make an icicle form lower down? Huh. Maybe we can put something on the tree? Can we maybe... There are no leaves left on the tree. This branch is the one that produced the big icicle. Tell me what to do, Henry. Can we maybe... No, you can't. Hmm. Can we use the straw on the tree? I'd rather not start desperately fl flinging things at the tree. Okay, well, that was my idea. I guess you didn't like it. Um, Ugh, the trowel. No. Put the trowel on the tree. I'd rather not start Okay, no, no. I thought the trowel fixed everything. I guess it doesn't. Um... Our card. I'd rather not. I'd no. rather not. Okay. Um. Hang our coat on the tree. Maybe I can hang the lab coat where the icicle formed. Oh. Here goes nothing. Hang? Are you just flinging it into the tree? I don't know if it'll work, but it's been fun. Okay. What do we need the icicle for? Why could I even click on an icicle? Oh my god, look how huge that icicle is. It's solid ice. I can't break it with my hands. Are you kidding me? Trowel? <laughs> okay, now why do I have an icicle? Is this for snowy? I don't want to overdo it. Oh. So now I just have a random icicle. Uh... I'm so confused. Okay, but I want my la my lab coat back. So let's get our lab coat back down. I think I've lost it forever. <gasps> I think I've lost it forever. No! Why don't you just go get the Zen Garden rake? <sighs> okay, this is awful. Um. 
fine. Uh, hmm. Mmm! <laughs> I'm not oh. happy. The snow has melted. Well, yeah. Do I, I still have the icicle, though. What do I use the icicle for? <sighs> How do I even... This oh. panel is slightly different from the rest. It looks like it can be removed, but my fingers are too big. I can't take it off with my bare hands. All right, let's see. It doesn't fit right. I need something Seems flatter. flatter. Is this what I? Is this why I have an icicle, or do I have to use the trowel? I can't open it with this. Okay, I think it's the trowel. I have a feeling the trowel does almost everything. Perhaps a sharp, precise blow from a trowel. Perfect. Let's see what's underneath. <laughs> that was so easy. Uh oh. What's happening? It's malfunctioning. Looks like Cobra has modified the elevator so it goes haywire when you remove the panel. I'm somewhere between the first and second floors. I need a flathead screwdriver to open it. All I have is a Phillips. That's why she won't give you. Try the icicle. I don't think that will help. I don't have a flathead screwdriver. It's too thick to fit in the screws. I need a flathead screwdriver to open. Okay, just put it back. Okay. I'm already on this floor. Then get out. Let's go. Let's see if we can steal her screwdriver. Okay. Nope, she's still there. Any new information, Dijon? Nothing. Nothing. I don't know anything at all. I'll see you later. Let me know if you find anything. Sure, Cobra. I'll let you know. I guess I shouldn't say anything. Um... Have you found anything yet? Just the satellite maps I told you about. Now I'm analyzing the security cops' inventory. We could use some espionage equipment for the trip, and I think I can get some stuff sent to us. Okay. I'll be back when I know something. See you later, man. Okay. I'm not entirely sure what to do at this point. Um. I'm pretty knowledgeable when it comes to columns. I'll be honest that I feel a little confused on this one. Um, I'm, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I feel like I must have missed something. There must be something with the pilot guy or something. There has to be something more down here. Wait, could I actually? A chromatic thermometer. They change color with temperature. In extreme cold, the liquid turns purple. You have to be careful, though. The colors fix on contact with air. Last winter, one of these exploded oh. in Micro's hands. His face was still blue in the spring. Looks like it's detachable. Carefully now. Oh, okay. Totally missed that last time. Okay. It's a cryocrate. The label says FAO. Okay, so nothing new there. What's up, kid? Have you seen those wanted posters? You ask a lot of questions, kid. Like I said, it's Purple here. He's a dangerous criminal on the loose. You'd think the security cops would be too busy. 
I need your home. No can do. Nobody knows me here. Not that they're looking for me anywhere else, you understand. I'm just an honest hover jet pilot. Okay. I'll leave you below. Watch your step. I thought... I feel like if he's a criminal, there's got to be some way. It's a little cloudy. To get him interested in this box. It's got a little black opening, but no keyhole. Hands off. That's a Kirikop property. I'm sorry, officer. Damn civilians. Always fiddle first, ask questions later. You're damn right, Captain. <sighs> I don't know what to do. <sighs> hmm. Let me think on this for a second. All right, give me, just give me a couple of minutes. I'm sorry, guys. I, I can't, I, I missed something. I'm obviously not smart. <laughs> Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching me play Mutropolis. If you like this, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all of the YouTube things. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and haven't already, go ahead and click on that picture of my big dumb face up in the corner. Click on that and you can go ahead and click on that bell icon if you'd like to be notified every time I post a brand new video. Also on this other side of screen there, it should be some kind of videos. Something I put up there, don't know what I put there, but I do that all in post. But click that if you'd like to see more of my videos. There's also a list of names in the center of your screen there. All of those names are the Twitter handles for all of my patrons at the time that I recorded this video. I cannot say thank you enough to these people. These are the people who really keep the channel running and I really do appreciate it. So please go drop them a follow, a like, tell them how awesome they are, and generally just know that I appreciate each and every one of you. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about Patreon and how you can help keep this channel up and running, go ahead and look in the lower left hand corner there should say something about exclusive videos and content. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here, everybody, but I'll see you in the next one.